Today I'm going to be improving the condition of these brass door handles. They're very well tarnished and I'm going to show you how to do it and give this new product to try which I've purchased. It's Rustin's Metal Lacquer. Just want to see what effect it has. So I want to polish it then apply lacquer to seal the shining hopefully. Now when I polish brass I tend to use whatever I can get my hands on. And in this case, we've got some teacup metal polish. I bought this for working on cars, polishing chrome bumpers up, that kind of thing. But it does actually do a reasonable job of cleaning brass. So I've got like an old cloth here. I'll give it some, some motion. I did these not long back, but unfortunately they've tarnished. Hence the lacquer in. I thought, wouldn't it be great to be able to do brass and seal the shining? Make it look like new. So I've got no shortage of these door handles in the house to do. This is my first go. Check the camera while I'm doing this. So I did it last time, I got most of the original lacquer off. So it's pretty black. I'll continue with it. Do the whole handle. So it's wasting the polish. It is possible to take this part of the handle off underneath there uh, and see there's a circlip. I may end up doing that, we'll just see how I feel. That's a good way of reversing a door handle. Should the need arise. It's always a fiddly bit, the bit where the handle goes through. <coughs> a bit of clean up. Be sure to do all the sides, they're very important. So we make light work of it, this polish. I don't even think it says brass on it. it. Just cleans and restores and polishes chrome stainless steel and many other metal, well this must be in the latter category, many other metals. You see it's a messy job, that's why I've got the card down. I can do without trying to get this horrible black oxidisation paste off the table. I don't have any flash polishing equipment. I'd love to have a buffing wheel, something like that. Polish it in seconds. But no such look. Two sides. This, this 
easy to fiddle a bit here, this, this round bit. Well, I spent quite a lot of time polishing, polishing these door handles to a mirror shine. Um, it wasn't a quick process, but hopefully it'll prove to be worthwhile. Also, I've given them a washing fairy liquid, washing up liquid. That the idea of that being is to remove any excess polish. Now, I've, I've had a trial run which has gone wrong. Um, some fibres from the brush, not this brush, but another brush, just left itself in the lacquer so we can learn from that um, I'm going to have a go with this brush which is a bit on the large side but it could work to, to uh, the advantage of the job it just about covers it, it's a one and a half inch brush but we'll find that out as we go I'll just put a bit of water on that help me out in that Make sure they're nice and clean because anything will seal in. Any imperfections will all become part of the job. I'll decant a bit of this into a, uh, a cap I've reserved from another job. Let's see how it works. Meant to do two coats of this. This is coat number one. Also, there's an interesting tip. Um, I've read it in the comments section of a, a video. It's, it's worth looking into. Tip is to apply it hot. Well, to a hot handle. So I'm going to do this one cold. And then progress to a hot one. Next one I do will be heated up just to see if there's any differences or any significance. Let me do this one. I want to get even coverage because if I leave a tiny bit, it will oxidise and degenerate the appearance of the finished product. I'm always wary of that. Interesting, you can work it quite well. I've got a few brush lines that hopefully will disappear. If not, you will be uh, informed. Okay, I'll leave that to dry. Three hours is the recommended drying time in between coats, which I think is a bit excessive. But I am personally wondering if the hot one will do it quicker. I'll put the unfinished one. Obviously, I think I'm gonna lose a little bit of shine, but I think that's a worthy trade-off not to have to polish it so regular. But I'm reasonably happy with that. There's just a few brush marks in it. Hopefully they'll disappear as it the product levels out. Well, I'm hoping anyway. Right, I'll heat this handle up and get back to you. Well, I'll give this one a bit of, bit of a blast with a hairdryer, uh, just to heat it up a bit. It's just about cool enough for me to touch by hand. But, uh, we'll see how the application goes with the heat. I can't feel any noticeable difference. Well, we've given both a coat. The one with the heat, um, we've got more of a stripey finish with that one. I'm not sure I would be recommending that technique. It's stuck to the card at the minute. 
So that's the one with the heat. I hope you can see it home. And this one was done cold. So I'm quite happy with the cold technique. I prefer that. There's a few streaks just there going down. I think I've dragged a bit of dirt from the centre of the door handle. And it, overall it looks a lot better than where we started from. So now I'm going to proceed with the second coat. on both and I might apply a bit of heat just to see if we can make them dry a little bit quicker let's try and watch this because it will it will dry with streaks and if you're not careful you need like just enough on it's tricky fiddly stuff shape of the door handle doesn't really help. This central spindle can be a bit challenging. I don't want to give it too little. We'll see if this one will improve with an additional coat. A few streaks there, let's have a go. Build up a bit more thickness on it. Might get rid of some of the marks because this one is cold now. I think the longer this takes to dry, the better. It gives it more chance to level off. Could even be a case for doing it in really cold temperatures. Maybe you're getting a better finish. Good idea to open a window when you're using this because uh, a bit more on that. The fumes coming off it are quite noticeable. Whew. Even says something about it on the on the packaging. Under there, I can't remember if I've done that bit. Right, thanks for watching. Um, we're going to refit these handles when it's dry. Uh, please like and subscribe. I might be doing some experiments with this. I think it's done a pretty good job on this one. So I think there's scope for a bit of trial and error with this product. I've got a few ideas I might want to test. I might try putting them in the freezer or something like that. Well... Thanks again for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, thanks, bye.